morning, girls and boys. It's lovely that we can have a kids' live together again. We're going to start with a song by Snegugu. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. There's one way peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His one way peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Girls and boys, have you ever stopped to think about how nice it is to be a young child? Do you know, sometimes we just want to grow up and we want to be big. We want to be like daddy and drive a car or like mummy and do all the baking and the cooking. Or maybe we just want to grow up so that we don't have to go to school anymore. But children, your childhood is actually a very special time in your life. Especially to those children who grow up in a Christian home. Do you know how exciting it is when daddy comes home and he says, let's go play football together. Or mummy sits down and reads a book with you. These are very special experiences that you as a child can experience. Where you can be a child in the family that God gave you. And this brings me to a very special passage in the Bible. Do you know, it is actually the only story that we read about in the New Testament where Jesus interacts with children. And the passage is from Mark chapter 10. 
it says people were bringing little children to Jesus to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was greatly displeased. He said to them, let the little children come to me. And do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. A little child will never enter it. And then it says Jesus took the children in his arms. He placed his hands on them and blessed them. Children, this tells us, it shows us Jesus' heart for children. And I think Jesus had great joy when the parents brought their children. We're going to look at the three different people in this passage. There were the disciples. There were the people or the parents who brought the children. And then there were the children. Do you know, there were times in history when children were not considered very special or very important. In fact, there have been times when people thought children are a nuisance, are a pain. And they would just shake them off. Ah, children, not very important. But you know, that's a little bit how the disciples were behaving. They didn't want the children to come to Jesus. And when Jesus saw it, the Bible says he was displeased. Some Bibles even say that Jesus was angry. I think it made Jesus very sad that the disciples were stopping children to come to Jesus. And do you know children that it's still like that today? There are some people and some things that will try to distract you or keep you away from Jesus. It might not be your parents. Maybe it's a friend at school. And this friend says to you, ah, don't go to Jesus. That's a waste of time. Do you know that friend is stopping you from coming to Jesus? Or sometimes it can be the books we read or the movies that we watch. They take our time and they fill our heart with evil things. And these things stop us from coming to Jesus. Children, don't let anyone stop you from going to Jesus. No matter how old you are, seek Jesus' blessing. And then there were the adults or the parents in this story. It's wonderful because these adults wanted their children to receive a blessing. And 
And maybe you have wonderful parents just like these in the story we read. They read God's word to you. They pray with you. And maybe they even take you to someone else for prayer. Children don't resist your parents. They are seeking God's blessing on your life. And it's a wonderful thing that your parents are doing for you. And then lastly, there are the children in our story. Children, do you know that you need the blessing of the Lord on your life? You need the Lord to bless what you do. In Psalm 14 verse 2 we read, The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand any who seek God. Children, it's a wonderful thing if you can seek God while you are young. And ask the Lord to bless what you do. I think you probably all ask for God's blessing when you eat. And maybe when you go to sleep too. Because that's what you've grown up with and your parents have taught you to do. Maybe you go to a Christian school and they pray in the morning to, to ask the Lord's blessing. But children, what about when you're about to play? When your friend comes over, do you ask the Lord to bless your time together? What about when you're going out for a walk? Do you seek the Lord's blessing there? And maybe you're trying to decide what you should play or what you should do one afternoon. And then you have a wonderful idea. Do you bow and pray and ask the Lord to bless your idea? We need to seek God's blessing in the little things and the big things. And never think you're too young. Do you know some of the greatest missionaries and preachers, they came to Jesus from a young age. There were people who sought God's blessing early in their life. There was the great preacher, Jonathan Edwards. He, got, he sought God's blessing on his life from the age of seven. And Matthew Henry, he was a writer, an author. He was 11 when he gave his heart to Jesus. There was Isaac Watts, a hymn writer. He wrote his first poem when he was five. And he gave his heart to the Lord Jesus when he was nine. And there was Corrie ten Boom, who later saved many people. And she decided to live for the Lord from the age of five. And Philip Bliss, another hymn writer. He 
he was 12. When he was 12. And then William Booth, who was the founder of the Salvation Army. William Booth, or the Salvation Army. He was just 13 when he committed his life to Jesus. When he was 13, he was just 13 when he Jesus. And let me tell you of a lady you may have never heard of before. Eliza Agnew. She came to Jesus when she was just eight years old. And she said, I want to serve God. And she asked the Lord Jesus to bless her life. And she said, Lord, if you bless me, I will live for you. And God heard that prayer. She grew up and she became a teacher and a missionary. She was the first unmarried woman to be a missionary to a headhunting tribe. In a country called Ceylon, which is today Sri Lanka. And while she was there, she started looking after a school for missionaries. And there were about a thousand three hundred girls in that school. It was a boarding school. And Eliza became the, mission, the principal of that school. And during the time that she was principal, over 600 of the 1,300 children gave their hearts to Jesus. And later she was called the mother of a thousand daughters. Eliza gave her life to Jesus at an early age. She really sought God's blessing. And God blessed her. And children, we can do exactly the same. Just as many, many years ago, people took children to Jesus. So we too can come to Jesus every day. And we can seek his blessing for the smallest detail in our life. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you that you love the children and that today you love them just as you did back then. And you bless those who come to you seeking a blessing. We praise you, Lord Jesus, that we can know you that you care about the smallest detail in our lives. Help us to seek your blessing with our whole heart. Amen. Amen. We now have a very special song uh, by some children from Virginia and by Anel. Please come, children. Oh, come to the Lord in your childhood. A welcome is waiting for thee. Oh, come, children, come to the Saviour. He is tenderly calling today. Come, 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 come to the Lord in your childhood while Jesus is calling to thee. Oh, come, children, come. 